I'm with uh, CGTN. My question is directed to Gu Jianren. Now the Olympic Winter Games has concluded, and you're working in Zhang Jiakou, and the village that you're working at has achieved the game of hosting Olympic Winter Games. How has the games changed the village? My name is Guo Jianren. I come from the beautiful Olympic Village in Hebei's Zhang Jiakou. The Olympic Winter Games have just concluded. China has fulfilled its commitment to the world. We presented a simple, safe, and fantastic Olympic Winter Games to the world. And Zhang Jiakou as a city has also realized its Olympic dream. As a deputy to the National People's Congress, I have witnessed how people in Hebei bear in mind the instructions of General Secretary Xi Jinping. We remembered the instructions of General Secretary Xi Jinping and worked very hard, and I feel very proud of this. I'm a party secretary of a village. I have witnessed the preparation and hosting of Olympic Winter Games. The villagers have uh, been uh, lifted out of poverty, and uh, we entered into a moderately prosperous society. Uh, we have uh, green uh, vegetables throughout our seasons. We have a new plantation mechanism in our village that has attracted a huge number of travelers. Uh, we are a small village, but last year we attracted more than 10,000 travelers. We are not just environmentally friendly, we also improved the income of villagers. Uh, traditionally, the per capita income was below 5,000, and right now the average has hit 7,000. Uh, some of the villagers, they are earning more than 20,000 yuan a year. So our village is a very good example of how the Winter Olympic Games has benefited China's economy. It's exactly because of the games that we have seen fundamental changes. Traditionally, we were just a faraway village, but right now we have airports and highway and railway stations. All the villagers are making more money. There are more villagers traveling to other places by train and by airplane. We believe that uh, snow and ice capped mountains and uh, frozen rivers are also in invaluable assets. We are more than grateful to General Secretary Xi Jinping and also to the CPC Central Committee. Going forward, we are going to further develop the healthcare industry, modern agriculture, and other modern industries. And this year, we plan to invest more than 100 million RMB to build three corridor industries. We're going to build a park for uh, modern agriculture. We're going to uh, carry forward the Olympic spirit and trailblaze in terms of uh, high quality development. Last but not least, I would like to send out a sincere invitation to all the guests.